Foto live Graffiti. Ja, ja, oh ja. Ja, er kommt direkt auf uns zu. Ey. Da kommt er. Meine Fresse, ist das ein Fi Jetzt wird's Fett. gleich laut. Jetzt wird's gleich richtig laut. Oh, wait, we're being strafed. Oh no. Take cover. Mmm, Abgase! It smells like freedom! You smell this! Hello and welcome to another video of mine. And what you saw in the beginning was the landing of the 82 Sky Raider at the Hanweide 2016, where I was over the weekend. And what you can see here in the background is a footage or a photo of the Sky Raider where it stood on the ground. And believe me, this one thing you cannot believe how big it is even in this picture it looks way smaller than when you stand right in front of it it's huge it's tall it's fat it guzzles oil it's a pilot stream and it certainly is my most beloved aircraft within the entirety of the american uh, plane line it's not the spitfire the btd the p47s or any of the jets or any of the bombers it's the 82 skyrider in my opinion it is the most capable aircraft that the Allies have. Uh, it features 20mm cannons, it features rockets and bombs and even the possibility of a torpedo. It's the most versatile aircraft. And what I show you today is a f uh, footage that I recorded like 10 minutes ago. And I want to talk a little bit about what you're going to see in there because it's a semi-guide. It's uh, more or less a guide how to sky raider but it also applies a lot of tips and tricks then that you can apply to a lot of other ground strikers so here we are on berlin and i think this map can show its true strength now there are a lot of tactics maneuvers and so stuff that um, not just apply to the sky raider uh, but also a lot of ground attackers as well as the duck for example but I think the Sky Raider uh, offers a lot of ordnance. When you are fully upgraded, you have access to, of course, the two AM M3 cannons, 20mm cannons with 400 rounds. You also have 12 HVAR rockets, which you have all the time. You cannot even unload them. And you then have uh, many options. But the heaviest bomb load is a single 2,000 pound bomb together with two 1,000 pound bombs. And if you do it right, you can take out two um, bombing targets in one strike. You drop the 1,000 pound, uh, the 2,000 pound bomb on the first bombing target, and then uh, four rockets on it, and then you destroy it. And the remaining rockets on the second, together with the remaining two 1,000 pound bombs. Now. What you can see he me here, I was checking the leaderboards and I saw that we had jets in our team, so I expected also the champions to feature a lot of jets. This plane gets up tiered on a regular basis, despite its 6.3, uh, its 6.0 battle rating when it came out, it had 6.7. Can you imagine? Yes, you can imagine because there is a video uh, on Jingle's um, YouTube account that. Uh, Proves it where I won against four chats. Granted, three of them crashed, but hey, I won. And so here I'm coming in for my first strafing run. And so I was going low, not just to have a good strafing run, but also to avoid being detected while being on a higher altitude. This is kind of a spotting mechanic in War Thunder where you are still visible but you don't get red boxed and you can see me here dropping the first and the second bombs first and second yes a two second delay is probably the best that i can give you as a tip and now i have to go for the rockets now usually rockets are relatively inaccurate within war thunder and um, rightfully so but you can make them work you fire from close distance but the rockets are wing mounted and so you have to account it one rocket hit is enough so and pay close attention to how i aim first hit i paid to the left of it so the right rocket hits i'm 
always aiming with the right right rocket or mostly with the right rocket and the best that I can expect are eight ground targets for the entirety of my payload if I attack single ground units I got two with the first three bombs and now let's see how I do with the rockets perfect and yeah while I'm doing this um, I'm not attacking with my cannons that's another option by the way I use uh, the omnipurpose belt on this aircraft as it provides a 50-50 mixture of armor piercing and high explosive shells which is as good for ground striking as it is for dealing with other aircrafts and yes the sky raider can do it and I saw numerous videos on YouTube from other people that just hate on the sky raider it's not everybody's plane I can see that why it's a ground strike but it truly is capable of dealing with idiots and you have to be honest a lot of idiots within war thunder that just underestimate the capabilities of uh, other pilots and their aircraft and also some of the 82 skyrider pilots that I saw in those videos they just bent over and kissed their ass goodbye as they just simply you know they they accepted their fate and actually never tried to you know make something to change that I mean why do we even go into combat if you accept your fate anyway this is how you do it so and now it's time for the cannons the cannons are therefore a problem as they uh, have traces in them and so if somebody checks the bottom of the battlefield uh, he will see those traces if he has good eyes. That's the first pull box. And you know, that gives your position away even without you being spotted. And then he closes the distance until you get red boxed. And from that point onwards, you are, yeah, you are a really nice target. You are slow. And yes, the Sky Raider is not the fastest aircraft uh, with full. Um, payload it reaches around about 400 to 420 kilometers an hour in level flight as top speed and when you unload it it is surprisingly maneuverable it's certainly much more maneuverable in a horizontal turn than a focke wolf for example now enemy fighters have to take it into vertical fights to bleed uh, the energy and then you know doing proper boom and zoom attacks but even then the sky raider can turn relatively tight with the use of uh, combat flaps and you know those this huge wingspan but it is necessary to get rid of the payload and this is a problem because what you saw here was also the optimal conditions uh, so I didn't get attacked and I could get rid of the payload in its entirety so at this moment I'm fully combat capable yes I'm low speed I'm low altitude but uh, you know I don't have additional weight and then I see the Horton T29 and he is so low that I expect him to spot me and of course attack me I'm just a stupid ground attacker right yeah well the first rule of engagement is not to take your chances in head-ons except you fight people with 50 cows which you know have still a lot of advantages higher rate of climb um, often they have better turning capabilities and so on now the one advantage that I can make out here was closing the distance and he did not want to engage me in a head-on he was a smart pilot the problem for him was that there is not just a MiG-9 in the area but also an F-84 Thunderjet and he attacks me he hits me he hits me again and I used a bad uh, maneuverability of the Horton in a uh, sideways engagement to yeah make aiming difficult for him in a continuous dogfight the Horton would easily beat me the Horton is a nightmare to intercept lonely and here we can see that this guy was a bit of uh, overconfident he really tried to get into a turn fight with three people at once the problem for him is one of them is a sky raider he can easily deal with the other two chats in a low turning fighting engagement but you know this is a sky raider 
and that's the kill. And you know, I had a very low ammunition count. Don't spray around, those are powerful guns which work really well. Not just against ground units, but also against uh, enemy fighters, as you just could see. There were numerous examples that are already on this channel that I showed that you can deal with enemy fighters if they are just stupid. If they have good pilots, they can deal with you, but this is how it's supposed to be, right? You know, not just the aircraft, but also the circumstances and the pilot decide the outcome of a battle. And this Horton war is simply a superior aircraft to mine in nearly every respect. It's partially a better ground attacker, it is faster, it can climb better, it is a jet that is highly maneuverable. But you know, the continuous low speed maneuverability of the 82 allows it to turn with a Horton until the cavalry, so to speak, arrives and he has to abandon his attack. If the Thunder Chat wouldn't have been there and the MiG-9 wouldn't have been there to distract him and to force him to abandon the attack, I would have been roasted. Um, and so, thanks to those two. That's practically one of the secrets of team play. Just be there. So, um, that was practically a perfect run. And uh, I wanted to get back to the airfield to rearm and refuel. Normally I expect to uh, have a big impact in the team, but my team was really good. The bombers bombed the uh, bombing points that got us in a points advantage. I killed 11 ground units and you know at this point even the um, new targets appeared and got us the chance to win by points, but our team actually wiped out the enemy. One important thing about the Sky Raider, it does have air brakes and they are rather powerful. Um, but one thing, there is a big air brake under the fuselage and when you um, also put uh, on landing flaps or combat flaps, they retract automatically. Just saying. So let's have a quick look at the post battle result screens. And we can see that for one kill and 11 pull boxes, I got just 30,000 silver lines and 4,004 research points. For all the precision, good work and winning, without any boosters, but a premium account, that's not a lot of reward. But you certainly get a lot of score points. 7,819 score points. Wow, that's a lot. So, that's the Sky Raider for you. Um, footage of the uh, Hahnweide is coming up within the next few days as I'm still trying to get footage from my good friends Exe and some other to you know collect it because they sorted out they had the good cameras so expect better video uh, better yeah better photos and I will take my time because I want to show you all the points that we photographed and talk a little about bit about it but for the Sky Raider I simply love this plane I is a lot of fun to go to do this ground striking and when you do this in the right way and you know not just bend over and kiss your ass goodbye and you know fight for your life you surely can make a difference not just by points wise but also by killing planes if you take one enemy fighter out of the game you are not useless you are most certainly more useful than uh, a lot of the remaining team members just keep that in mind the sky raider in my opinion is worth it but really um expect to struggle expect to have it not easy especially at this battle rating expect to get up tiered expect to run into uh, enemy ground attackers that also hunt you uh, at this battle rating the environment for a ground attacker is always very dangerous but i hope i could show you a few tips and tricks for how to ground strike and how to get away with your life and to bring home the silver lines and the research points and that's the next that's officially the last point i think the rewards for this plane should be hired because um it hasn't changed within one year 
for almost the same amount of effort. One year ago in the Chingus video, uh, I, al I almost got the same reward for almost the same work and it was always and was still, you know, pretty low. Anyways, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comment section what you think about the Sky Raider. See you next time on the battlefield.